Rolling down these desert hills Rolling up these dollar bills And the drinks that we've been drinking strong as fuck, girl What is up, YouTube? This is Nando Prince 93 and I'm back Back again with another review uh, Today we got the up The Jawbone Up 24 Here's the actual wristband itself uh, so as you can see I already unboxed it the only thing that you get in the actual box is a wristband the device itself Little USB charging port, which I'll show you guys how to use in a second and a little pamphlet to get you started with a couple of instructions about how to use a device because as you can see there's no screen There's one single button which is right this little thing right here And that is about it the rest of it is controlled through your device either on the computer or on your iPhone so, initial thoughts on the device. I like how simple it is. I like how accurate it is when it comes to steps and stuff of that nature. I like the look, the sleekness. I'll show you what it looks like on my wrist in a second. Actually, let me put it on right now. So here it is on my wrist. As you can see, I have the large one. It comes in small, medium, and large. The large one fits my average wrist pretty well. And you can tighten it and loosen it a little bit. As you can see, there's no real like latch or anything. Uh, so, Jawbone themselves, they currently have three different fitness trackers. As you can see, you have the Up Move, the Up 24, and the Up 3. In my opinion, the Up Move compared to the Up 24 is a better bang for the buck because the only real difference between the two is the alarm. And that's really it, to be honest. The, the one that you the Up Move. Also last up to six months, they're both pretty much waterproof. Battery life for the Jawbone Up 24 is actually very good compared to its competitors like the Fitbit, like the Nike Fuel Band. Those only last a few days because they do have that LED screen. The Jawbone Up, as you can see, has no screen on it at all because everything is controlled through the device. So it lasts you up to two weeks according to this. And then they also make the Up 3, which, has, which includes a heart rate monitor, the activity alert, advanced sleep tracking, uh, it's more of a smartwatch, you can get notifications on it, but the price difference is up to gets up to 180. Bang for buck, the up move is only 50 bucks compared to up 24, which is retails for 129. I got it on sale for $100 at the Apple store, which they should still have. So what's new about this one is that as a quick Bluetooth connectivity and also the charging port is different. So let me show you guys how to charge it real quick, one sec. So the way you charge the actual device, they give you this little charging port. This is all you get. It's a USB and it has a custom, it almost looks like a tiny aux cable. It's small. It used to be a regular 3.5 millimeter, but now they made it smaller. Why? I don't know. It's just what Java wanted to do. But the way you charge is you, there's one little cap here. You pop this guy off. Let's see if I can pop it off with one hand. And as you can see, there's a little aux light cable. It's much smaller than 3.5 millimeters. And all you do is you plug it in like this. Let's see if I can do this with one hand again, and I can't, one sec. So you plug it in like that, and all you have to do is plug it into USB, and the LED flash starts popping, and then you'll see when it's blinking, that means it's not charged, and when it's finally sol a solid light, it is done charging. Like I said, it takes up to just two hours to charge, and it'll last you 14 days with one charge, supposedly. Um, I've been using it for about a week. I haven't had to charge it yet straight out of the box, which is good. Um, and the way... Jawbone Up works is through the app itself. There's an iOS app and an Android app. I use the app and it coincides with my fitness pal. So I actually track the food I get and then it gives you your better your BMR so you know how many calories you're burning and how many you're taking in throughout the entire day, which is a good indicator. I like how accurate it is. So the way it connects to your actual device is via Bluetooth as you can see. And supposedly it's real time, so as long as you have your Bluetooth on, it'll automatically connect and update your, your steps taken. Um, you can set different goals on the app and things of that nature. So if you go to the actual Jawbone website itself, it gives you all the features lined up here, like wireless syncing, like I said before. It's water resistant. I mean, I don't recommend swimming with it, but showering with it is okay. Being in the rain, when you're sweating is fine. One of the, the two key features between the Jawbone 24 and the Jawbone Move is idle alert so you can set alerts for yourself and it also knows when you're when you've been idle for too long when you've been sitting down for too long it'll indicate it'll send you a push notification to your phone saying get up off your ass and start moving which I think is awesome 
And you have the smart alarm, which you can set. It gives you a light buzz. It slowly wakes you up, so it doesn't ruin your REM cycle. Like I said, it's continuously updating. The LED, there's literally only two indicators and one button on the entire device. That's what's. I think that's the key to the device. It's the simplicity. So, then, of course, you have the step counter, calories burned. Um, there's a social as a social media aspect to compete with other friends and family. Uh, you can log your food, like I said, either through the Jobbin app itself, which I don't personally like, or through you can connect it to MyFitnessPal, which is what I like. And then there's different milestones. You can level up through the Jobbin system, set your own goals. So like I said, this thing retails for $129.99 on the site itself. So like I said, I would either go up move or up three. I don't think the up 24 is worth the $130 in my opinion when you can get the same thing basically that just clips on your waist. I mean, it's easier to lose, but it's only $50. Um, the up three then again has the heart rate monitor. Uh, it's basically a smartwatch and get notifications on it. So that might be worth the 180, but the up 24 right, right now at 129.99 is not worth it in my opinion. I would go up move if you want the simplicity or up three if you want all the extra data. As a fitness tracker, I do think it beats the Nike Fuel Band and the Fitbit. But other than that, I would go with the up move of the up three. So hopefully this, guys, hopefully this helps you guys decide whether or not you want to buy it. I'll leave links in the description below on how to get it, uh, either on Amazon or on the website itself, or on the Apple Store. So until next time, guys, this is Nando Prince 93 and I'll see you guys. Trying to fucking change the world. You a lady in the streets. Red lipstick and pearls. Don't kiss me in public. Bitch, I barely know.